Yo, what's up, my people? I don't anticipate spending much time at all on our live stream tonight. However, my commitment is always is if we are going to have our 5 p.m. time on a weekly basis block for us to have a quick conversation that's always about equipping us and providing empowerment for us to live our best lives, even on holidays. Suffice it to say very quickly here on this day whereby we are afforded a special opportunity to celebrate and reflect upon Dr. Martin Luther King and his legacy. I wanna ask a critical question to get us into our conversation and then we'll be able to get on with our day. What are you doing in service to the world? What are you doing in service to the spheres of influence whereby you've been gifted, you've been blessed, and you've been afforded an opportunity to be in those spaces? What are you doing to intentionally show up and live the type of life whereby you wear two mantles, you put on two helmets, the helmet of servitude and the helmet of leadership on a consistent basis. You put both of those things together and guess what, ladies and gentlemen, we have the servant leader. If there is nothing else that we can be inspired by on this holiday, on this day of Dr. King reflection, he in fact was a servant leader. And that's why I come to this space today asking the question to our parents, to this village, what are you doing to not only be a servant, but in your servitude to raise up as a leader who has influence to show other people and prove to the world that there is maximum massive value and being the type of person who approaches life you approach your parenting, you approach your professional realities as an individual that says, this thing is bigger than me. I'm doing this wired by and working towards a desire that says, I want to make impact. I want to influence transformation. I want to, want to be the type of individual, hear this part, who is deeply fulfilled by every waking moment of my lived experience. And here's the fact. Many of us find ourselves in different stages of our lives as not fulfilled at all. We find ourselves, we find our, we can find ourselves in these places of being broke, busted, and disgusted. And my thing is, and the challenge today very simply is, how are you serving? And how are you serving in a way whereby other people get win, other people get cognizance of your servitude. Therefore, you raise up as a servant leader who is inspiring other people to say, man, if I live a life whereby I'm serving other people, it brings more value to my life. I'm talking about that value that's not tangible, that value that's intrinsic, that inside of me, uh, emotionally, mentally, I feel more fulfilled by the way that I'm showing up every day in my life. I believe without doubt that Dr. King's legacy prompts us. It inspires us. And I would even say it gives us a model for what servant leadership can look like. Now, let me say this. Everybody isn't going to impact change on a national level that sustains at, at the level that Dr. King's, that, that Dr. King was able to make you know, we're all not going to make that type of impact. We're all not called to make that type of impact. Our names are not Dr. Martin Luther King. Your name is Sharon. Your name is Katie. Vicky, your name is Sylvester. Your name is Vincent. My name is Damien. Our names aren't Dr. King. So the challenge there is for you to do that intrinsic exploration to find out how are you supposed to be raised up? as a servant leader? How are you specially wired to live the type of life that says that I don't just show up to get personal satisfaction. I show up to give of myself so that other people may be benefited by the way that I live and lead my life. Let me say this. <laughs> because some of you might be asking, knowing that the theme for this month 
is conflict resolution. What in the world, Damien, does this have to do with conflict resolution? Here's my answer. When you're busy, occupied, serving, when you're busy and occupied, occupy, leading in the type of way by, whereby your leadership and your servitude is giving you so much value, it has you so fulfilled that it, you find yourself in that space and it's just like, guess what? I don't have time for petty. <laughs> I don't have time for too much mess. I don't have time for too much messiness because I found out and I figured out that my life is a life of significance. My life has potential to make great impact that through my lived experience, I can bring transformation to somebody else. And when you realize that you have less time for conflict that doesn't add value to your lived experience. I'm not saying in this month of us focusing on conflict resolution that there won't be times where we got to wrestle through some things that we disagree on. But when that petty stuff shows up, for those people who've committed to living lives that are bigger than us, that it's not just about my own personal fulfillment, you grow an extra level of strength fortitude and capacity to let petty be gone, to let petty get out of your space and to tell those type of situations that I'm just not going to give you the attention that I used to in my life before because I've figured out that there's so much value and so limited time for me to live into that value in this one life that we've been given that I'm not even going to entertain that mess with you. So in this month whereby we're focusing on conflict resolution, the nuance of the conversation tonight is a question that asks, how are you serving? And in your service, how are you raising up as a leader that's exerting influence, teaching, showing, inspiring other individuals to serve as well? All right, I have to definitely before getting out of here today, give the announcement that I'm still looking for parent champions for us to serve and support for the next three months. We literally have no barrier for entry. And in fact, we're coming to the table with a stipend to give our parents. By the way, I see the numbers coming up. When I came and into this space and hit live, Facebook had me blocked. Uh, for whatever reason, they had it locked. And I didn't notice that until right when I ended the conversation. So make sure that you all take that opportunity and watch the playback. What I was getting into you all is the fact that we're doing parent training and we need more men, we need more women to onboard the platform starting next month. And again, no barrier for entry. And in fact, we're coming to the table and offering a stipend for those people who are going to participate. So make sure you message me if you come here on Mondays and it's just like, wow, some of those things that Damien is sharing has transformative value for my life. And when you realize that and that piques your interest, now I'm saying, let's take it to the next level. Let's get within a community space and let's come together so that we can flourish, thrive, live into the best examples and iterations of who we are. Let's do that together. Message me comment below, do what you need to do to get into this community, especially that I'm starting next month, no barrier for entry. And in fact, we're coming to the table and parent, paying our parent champions who participate next month. I constantly and consistently see those numbers going up. So thankful for you all being here. I'm actually about to go because Facebook had this locked when I came on all of the value. I got to get off of here so that you all can get access to the playback. By the way, you all, Listen, for the first time ever, I'm creating, and I'm just about done, a program whereby I will be able to give this program directly to my parent champions and not have to navigate through these schools and organizations like I did today. I am so excited about that. I need you all to be on the lookout for this program. When you get my landing page and you all see my advertisements in the future for this 
living your best life initiative that's all about us getting these character development tools and nuggets to help us to transform and progress consistently in every area and facet of our existence i need y'all to tap into that i need you if you're going to tap in when you all see my ads and when you all see me putting out things that you can tap into directly and we don't have to go through schools just put the words tap in below. I need y'all to be on the lookout and support me in this initiative because your support means that I'll be able to reach even more parents and especially some parents who might not have had access to me without you leaning in and saying that you are a committed member of the Parent Champions Village. So with that, y'all, I am out of here. Thank y'all for joining today. Make sure you watch the playback so that you can get access to the things that I shared before I went public on this page. For whatever reason, it was locked when I first came in. I realized that. I need y'all to go back and check it out. All right, people. Much love, much respect. Much love, much respect. Make sure that y'all are taking some time and day to reflect upon the legacy and the life of Dr. King. I think we owe the holiday, we owe this reality at least that much. Peace out.